So on Monday this week, Octopus held their third Octopus Energy Tech Summit, and uh, I was lucky enough to be able to get tickets to go along. And uh, so this video is going to be a very brief uh, overview of what happened during the day. Um, from my perspective, the most important things that happened were meeting up with some of my pals, um, Ollie from Speak to the Geek, uh, Andrew from Mr. EV, and Sarah from Sarah Go Green. So uh, yeah, if you not, are not already following those guys, go, uh, go check them out. I'm sure most of you probably are already. Um, yeah, it was great to meet up with them and, uh, and chat about stuff and um, meet all of the uh, the viewers of the channel that came to say hello. So yeah, thanks very much for if you did come and say hello. Uh, it was not lovely to meet everyone. But the uh, the other important thing um, from the day was the the big announcement that um, Octopus made about their new um, lease deal with the BYD Dolphin. I'll come to that in a bit. Um, but I thought I'd just briefly chat about the day and um, how it felt to me um, and the sorts of things that that went on. Um, it was a very interesting day, uh, much, much bigger than I was expecting. 3,000 people turned up, apparently. It was absolutely huge. Um, uh, when they originally planned it, apparently they'd uh, got a venue suitable for about 400 people, and then they realised that the lineup of speakers that they'd got arranged was um, rather too big for that, so they decided to uh, find a new venue that could house 3,000 people instead and open it up to um, Octopus customers as well as some um, other industry people. Uh, so yeah, it was um, very much bigger than I was expecting. I was sort of expecting one of these um, you know, little conferences that you go to and then you can sort of mingle and chat with people. But actually, we didn't really get a lot of ch chance to chat. I would have um, liked there to be, what, a couple fewer of the talks maybe to allow a bit more time for chatting to uh, to people. That would have been nice. But uh, yeah, it was quite a packed day, so quite exhausting if, uh, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, otherwise had a had a brilliant time. Um, there were loads of talks from all sorts of different people on a, a whole range of topics. The, the all the talks will be made available in due course, I believe. So uh, once the, that becomes available, I'll drop a link into the description of this video so you can go and find those. But I'm sure if you Googled for the Energy Tech Summit uh, 2025, you'll find those as and when they become available. The Octopus have already put out the main video um, about the the BYD Dolphin leasing deal that they've got um, that they announced that day so go check out that video the audio is terrible so be warned it's not not the best nor my most comfortable watch but uh, it was an interesting talk Greg Jackson was joined by Quentin Wilson and Damon Hill of all people so yeah that was uh, very interesting uh, to see them up on the stage talking about uh, their love for EVs as well so that was that was all great I think from my perspective the most enjoyable talks were probably Brian Cox and Hannah Fry um, very professional presenters in their own right of course so uh, yeah they knew what they were doing um, very interesting discussions that, the, that they had to go and check out those uh, those videos as and when they become available um, but yeah it was a very flashy event um, very much like um, sort of one of these Apple showcase events with uh, lots of lights and um, big sound and all that um, so yeah it was all a bit overwhelming uh, in the uh, first session um, Ollie from Speak to the Geek had saved me a seat down the front I, I arrived a bit late because uh, it was uh, the the queue outside was absolutely enormous and I thought I'd arrived with plenty of time but I got in just in time uh, to see the the start of the session um, at, a, at just after nine o'clock so uh, yeah thanks to Ollie for saving me a seat and uh, he'd also saved a seat for um, Andrew from Mr EV so we, the three of us sat together in the front row right at the uh, the far right hand side so we had quite a sort of uh, side on view to proceedings but thankfully there were lots of screens that we could use to see uh, what was going on on stage and of course it wouldn't be a swanky corporate event if it, it didn't also come with some free swag so uh, yeah there was a swag bag yeah, which included uh, an, a new Constantine. This is uh, the second one we've got, so we'll add that uh, to our menagerie. And I uh, also got a little bit of um, extra swag in the form of this tiny little octopus van. And um, really interestingly, um, a little, uh, what, what do they call this? A seed bomb. So these are little, um, little packets of seed, I suppose, um, little bombs. So there you go. So uh, it's a little sort of... Uh, little ball that's apparently got loads of wildflower seeds in there so you can chuck those in the ground and um, give them a water and hopefully they'll sprout some uh, wildflowers we might give those a try um, and some stickers and other bits and bobs so um, yeah that was all very nice um, and uh, yeah we had to go up uh, some um, a, a, a bedecked set of stairs with thousands of um, octopus plushies um, up the walls uh, go up the stairs and, uh, and get our um, free swag from the VIP area um, and then uh, back down into the main event so yeah that was all uh, all a bit of fun 
They also had a really nice outside area with a marquee where you could get refreshments and a, uh, a wind turbine called Fatboy Spin. Um, sadly, wasn't rotating that day. I guess uh, the wind wasn't quite right for it to work, but uh, yeah, it was nice to see that. That was um, uh, a bit fun. I think that's off to see off to Glastonbury uh, after the uh, the events uh, to power to help power Glastonbury. Hopefully, if the the wind is sufficiently strong for it to turn. Um, it was uh, held in um, the Evolution London uh, in Battersea Park. So yeah, it was a, a very nice um, area to, to walk through um, before getting to the to the venue. Um, and yeah, very pleasant environment all, all around, really. But I should probably tell you a bit more about the big announcement that they made that day. So tell you what, let's head over to the press release and we'll take it from there. So this was the big announcement on the day. This is what they call the Power Pack Bundle. It's basically a uh, lease of a BYD Dolphin EV, um, which comes with vehicle to grid functionality, along with a Zaptec Pro Charger, which um, allows it to um, discharge back to the grid uh, from the car battery. And you get all your driving for free up to 12,000 miles. Um, so this was very interesting. Um, the whole thing costs £299 a month. That doesn't include insurance. You have to cover your own insurance, but it does come with servicing, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a very interesting concept. Um, the idea being that um, you hand over control of um, the car charging to Octopus. They decide when to charge it and when to discharge it in order to help balance the grid. Um, that's where the benefit comes from. You get all your charging for free. You don't get paid for the export from um, the car, um, but obviously that then, um, the revenue that Octopus get from that um, will then obviously go into uh, providing you with the free charging in the first place. Um, so that's the idea. It's sort of a bit of um, uh, giving up a little bit of control um, in order to give you um, essentially a, uh, a fixed price per month for running your car. Uh, now if you head over to the uh, reservation um, link here, I'll show you that in a second, um, that will uh, show you a few more details. Um, but uh, the, the thing I was most interested in was this bi-directional Zaptec Pro charger. So I found uh, the Zaptec Pro website and I just thought I'd have a quick look at this uh, this charger. Um, it's uh, very interesting. It, um, it's, it seems like it's a basic, uh, you know, pretty normal um, smart charger like you get uh, any other um, smart charger like the Zappy or whatever. Uh, and I had a look through the specs and at no point does it actually make any mention of, um, of V to G, which was um, a bit strange, I thought, uh, given that the whole point of this um, uh, uh, power pack bundle was that you could do uh, vehicle to grid. So I did a bit more digging and uh, I discovered um, a section on the um, Zaptec uh, website where they actually talk about specifically the vehicle to grid functionality of their chargers. So this is this is what I was looking for. So um, this, um, this page, uh, they uh, go into more details about vehicle to grid and how it's achieved. So the important thing is this um, ISO uh, 15, uh, 15,118 and uh, that is a standard that allows chargers and cars to talk to each other through um, domestic chargers and that's what allows you to then open up uh, vehicle to grid functionality. So I should um, mention this is um, AC vehicle to grid, it's not DC vehicle to grid so far as I can tell I think it's AC. And so I had a look um, down through the list here and it does indeed say, let's see if I can find it a bit further down, um, does my charger, is it, uh, is my Zaptec charger ready for vehicle to grid? And uh, this is the important bit, um, Zaptec Pro, it has the um, ISO 15118 um, hardware included. Now this is the interesting bit, but doesn't currently support bi-directional metering for energy export vehicle to grid. Now what I'm assuming is that that's getting implemented ready for this uh, power pack bundle. Um, it doesn't mention it here, but um, presumably by the time you it becomes available, which will be shortly, I believe, um, then uh, you should be able to get that functionality. Otherwise, obviously, they wouldn't um, wouldn't announce it. So anyway, looks like it will be um, uh, fully functional for vehicle to grid. So that's interesting to see. If we then actually look at the um, uh, the sign up list here, you can uh, click the, uh, if you look for power pack bundle, um, you'll see this, you'll find this page and you can join the wait list if you want to. There's a lot more details on this page. So I recommend if you're interested in this to take a thorough look through this. There's a lot of uh, details that it's worth bearing in mind if this is something that you're interested in uh, in looking at. Um, I guess the, the most important factor is um, how it works in practice. Uh, so when you're on this bundle, you obviously get all your charging for free as part of the power pack, but um, and Octopus control your charging, and you have to be plugged in for, I believe it's 20, 
20 days a year, something like that, in order for, for it to um, to be uh, a valid use of the uh, of the, the bundle. Um, and uh, essentially what you have to do is leave your car plugged in so that um, Octopus can charge and discharge your car as required to meet the demands of the grid. Um, obviously always leaving you enough um, capacity in your vehicle to make sure that you're never left short. I believe that that's one of the stipulations. Um, but if we scroll down, there's a whole load of FAQs here. Um, you know, there's the timeline of how you can sign up. Um, but these FAQs are well worth looking through um, to see whether you're eligible or not. You would need a G99 application um, in order to uh, qualify for this because obviously if you're exporting power, then uh, you need G99 for that um, if it's over the 3.68 kilowatts. Um, now, interestingly, it says um, it's that you need this for anything over 3.68 kilowatts. But as far as I can tell, the BYD Dolphin can only export at 3 kilowatts anyway. Um, that's what I could find on the internet, but maybe, maybe that's... Uh, um, not quite right maybe they can actually export a little bit uh, faster than that who knows uh, i'll see if i can find a little bit more information about that at some point um uh, the other interesting thing that it's worth bearing in mind are um the uh the maximum number of miles um where let's see if i can find it i think it was twelve thousand miles oh yeah here's the insurance one you don't get insurance so you'll need your own insurance um does it include servicing yes it includes servicing and maintenance so that's good to know does it affect the car's warranty? No, they've um, done a deal with BYD to make sure that the warranty is fine. Um, the energy tariffs, this is the probably the most important one, I would say. Now, it says most energy tariffs, most Octopus energy tariffs are compatible, but not the intelligent ones. So you can't get um, this bundle if you're on Intelligent Go or Intelligent Flux. But it doesn't say anything about regular Go or regular Flux. So presumably, if you're on either of those two tariffs, you can keep those tariffs and also um, sign up for this, uh, this um, Power Pack bundle. Um, so there you go. That's um, probably worth bearing in mind. But yeah, definitely take a look through all of these other um, FAQs if it's something that you're interested in because um, obviously, obviously all of the uh, the devil is in the details so make sure that you thoroughly understand all of this before you sign up. Now I reckon that this would be a, a good solution for people who don't have solar um, and who do a lot of miles so up to 12,000 miles a year uh, then I think this would be a, probably a quite a good deal if you've got solar and battery and don't do many EV miles I reckon this probably wouldn't be a particularly good fit for you so for us I don't think this would be a very good fit because we don't do loads of miles um, and I've already got um, plenty of, uh, of earnings from my solar and battery system I don't need um, to get free charging on top of that because I'm basically already covering all of my charging in the generation uh, uh, that I'm already able to um, get from my solar system so for me I don't think this would be um, a, a good deal but it's definitely worth considering if you do a lot of miles and uh, you're interested in, in the BYD Dolphin it looks like a, a very good car so um, if that's uh, a car that you're keen on uh, on uh, driving then yeah um, take a look it's probably um, worth uh, worth taking a look at this deal so I had a pretty good time all in all and I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing the clips that I took uh, on the day um, but that's it from me today and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching